Hello everyone and welcome to my reaction to Kangen Omega Chapter 275 titled Semifinals Match 1. Uh, I know I didn't do a reaction to the last chapter. I was busy. I just didn't have a really good opportunity to. Uh, it was alright, I guess. It went about as we expected. Uh, and then there was a break last week. So, you know, hopefully, uh, because Sandro has taken his, like, once per year break, uh, that means that maybe not this chapter, but some of the upcoming stuff will be of slightly higher quality than usual. Would I put too much stock in that? No. But... There's only one way to find out, and that's by getting right into this week's chapter. So let's see here. We got 19 pages, a little more than usual. So, just spitballing here. We've got Oma and Shen sitting around the fire. But did you ever think about making another clone from mine and Ryuki's DNA? You'd live long enough for that, right? I had that idea, but I doubt it worked. Both of our DNA differ from our predecessors, despite both of us being clones. Well, yeah, there's always going to be a little bit of a differentiation. Wait, what do you mean, both of you? You're literally in the same fucking body. What are you talking about? Do you, you have more than one DNA? It would seem that the connector's genetics are irregular. I highly doubt that yours and Ryuki's DNA will be exactly copied into your clones. Although I personally think it's worth a try. <sighs> I told you I was just spitballing. I'm not gonna offer anyone else up as a sacrifice. That's what I thought. You're one of those people who doesn't approve of that. Can I ask you another stupid question? Hmm? Are you actually the original? I mean, the originals that Ryuki and I came from. Uh, good question, given how old he is. I get that Ryuki and I are just about identical. You and I can tell just how much he looks like me. Same goes for that bastard Luohan. I hate to admit it, but the resemblance is there. I get how you feel. Luohan really is a bastard. But then there's you, Wulong. I just don't see any resemblance. You don't- is it just because he puts his fucking hair up? Oh yeah? Then how about now? He's gonna put his hair down? Yeah, you just look like an older Oma. It's amazing how much difference a hairstyle can make. So, do you see the resemblance now? Well, wow, that's a relief. Looks like I'll still be hot even when I'm older. He is good looking. He looks better with the hair. At least at the length that he has it at, it looks better with it. Let me just put it back up short. Now we're back to the tournament. A real championship venue for the Opera House. So here we have our semi-finals matchups. Galang versus Justin and... Agito versus Lolong. Um, so yeah, you know, I've already made my predictions. We got three out of four correct. Four out of four in terms of, like, who I wanted to win. Yeah, include, you know, I preferred Justin winning over Sakagake, so, you know. With Justin, though, well, we'll get into it. It's the ultimate tournament. To decide the strongest... I think there's an of there missing. The strongest out of eight champions of the different underground martial arts promotions. The real championship tournament. And the first match of the semifinals is between these two. As we have Galang and Justin facing off. Galang is a little bit... Actually, he's, a, he's only a few inches shorter than Justin, but Justin's got quite a bit of weight on him. Galang Wan Sawat versus Justin Kitagawa. Let's see here. So we're gonna have a boxer and Muay Thai practitioner versus an MMA and wrestling practitioner. It it, it is probably the closest we could get to like an actual real life MMA fight. Are you sure he's gonna be okay, Okubo? What's the matter? You worried about him? Sure I'm worried. Galang's got the better record, both public and underground. I bet Kitagawa's under a lot of pressure. Let me tell you something about Justin, Kim. You'd never guess it. But he's one hell of a dog person. What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? That was completely unnecessary. I just don't even know what that means. What does that mean? You're saying things that don't mean shit, Okubo. 
Once again, I'll be giving the play-by-play -play with commentary by Jerry Tyson. All right, are you ready? Glad to be here, Sayaka. And the referee will be Tashiro Masashi. He's a veteran of the Kengen matches and very strict. Take your stance. Fight! As Justin's down in his uh, grappling stance and Galen gets up into his hitman stance. And the first match of the semifinals is underway. Galang's assumed his usual flicker stance. Meanwhile, Kitagawa's taking a low stance, getting ready for a takedown. That ain't no Muay Thai. Is he messing with me? You you don't know anything about Galang then. So we're starting off with boxing versus wrestling. Hmm. Alright, I knew I was feeling deja vu for a reason. It's because this exact same dynamic has played out three fucking times in this tournament. What is it? Well, you might be too young to remember this, Miss Akiyama, but you used to see a lot of different martial arts going up against each other like this back in the early days of MMA. The rules were a lot more slack, and they hadn't developed techniques yet, so they were all figuring it out as they went. You'd have boxers who only wore one glove, or wrestlers who ignored defense and just went for takedowns. And that was pretty exciting in its own way. I mean, even though, he, I mean... Just as still an MMA practitioner, I, I feel like this kind of matchup is... It, we, it's just an MMA fight. This is just like a, a, a normal MMA fight we're watching. Granted, we've come a long way since then on a technical level. Galang's able to cope with ground grappling, and Kitagawa's an MMA fighter who came from amateur wrestling. That said, neither of them are all-rounders. They're both specialists in a single area. Back in the day, what made the ultimate difference was who took the fight onto their home turf first. And I can't help but get the same feeling from this match. Time into the match, 35 seconds. They've just been standing here for 35 seconds? Fight! Fight! Well, I mean, if it's gonna be any repeat of the last two fights, it's gonna start off with Galang. Galang made the first move. And Kitagawa rushed in. As if in concert. The fight begins. How many pages do we have left for? Oh, good, we have six left. Nice, we get a little bit of it this week. Flash! Justin sidesteps out of the way of the flash. He slipped past him. No, you idiot. Back off, Justin. And... He gets hit with a right hook to the temple. What the fu- Oh, you're gonna get hit with a follow-up kick or a knee, aren't you? Oh, no, just more of a flicker. Oh, he's moving too fast. Oh, shit. Don't stop. Keep moving. Put your guard up and get out of there. Move around and recover. So, you know, a little surprise. Galang has uh, taken things to his territory first. Ooh. Galang lands a fucking heavy body blow on Justin. That did not feel very good. But he's gotten up that close. Can he grab onto him? Tries to grab him, but he gets out of the way. Galang's got him on striking turf. This could be over before we know it. L looks like he's holding on somehow, but he's taking some considerable damage. Yeah, Justin, you're not. <laughs> you had a really bad start to this fight. Ugh, now you've done it. That fucking smart jackass. What? Why do manga characters say that smart? Who have, is this a Japanese thing? I have never heard an actual person say this. Time to shape up, Justin. You're up against the best boxer in the world here. I will neither gloat nor scorn you. I will simply defeat you. Yeah, um, I, I get the impression you will. Because, um... Starting off uh, pretty one-sided in your favor. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a pretty one-sided beating thus far. And, um, Justin, you really don't have shit to put you on the same level as Jirota. To be like, oh yeah, he's getting treated like a sandbag, but if he gets one hit in there, it's, it's gonna be a, a game changer. You don't have that. You're starting to get washed. And well... I don't, I don't expect that to change very much. Honestly, what I kind of expect is Gowling beats Justin relatively low difficulty, 
and Agito beats Lolong with some pretty high difficulty, and the damage Agito incurs is kind of what equalizes his fight with Gao Lang. Um, so yeah, this is probably going to be a wash. Uh, but what do you guys think? Be sure to let me know down in the comments, because with that, that's all I've got for this week's reaction. If you guys enjoyed, definitely be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my uploads. I do Kangen Omega chapter reactions every week when we get a new chapter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Take care.